what we're going to do today is test this in channel enhancement mode MOSFET. The part number of this MOSFET is IRF 840. And what we're going to do today will work for any enhancement mode MOSFET. Here's the diagram right here gate, drain, source. And from this pin out here, we see that the gate is the first lead, the drain is the middle lead or the tab, and the third lead is the source. From this diagram here we see there's a Zener diode. So we should be able to put our black lead on the drain and our red lead on the source and see a diode drop. Now the way these MOSFETs usually fail is that they will short from drain to source when not turned on. You, should, you can put your black lead up here on the tab, red lead down here on the source, and there we have a diode drop, 0.524. So this MOSFET is not shorted. Now here's a neat trick that you can do with this meter. If I take and put my black lead on the drain, my red lead on the source, I'm sorry, on the gate, I'll turn that MOSFET on. And then I'll be able to take my black lead on the drain, my red lead from the gate to the source, and you will see nearly zero ohms in the meter, indicating that the drain to source is closed. Let's try it. So black lead on the drain, red lead on the gate. Now let's move the red lead to the source. Look at that. 0 0.006. I just turned on that MOSFET with my meter. Now to turn it off, leave your red lead on the source, move your black lead to the gate, and I've just turned that MOSFET off. Let's go back up here to the drain. I've got my 0.524 diode drop back, indicating that that MOSFET is turned off. We'll try it again. Black lead on the drain. Red lead on the gate. Move your red lead from the gate to the source. We're turned on again. 0 0.006. Now move your black lead from the drain to the gate to turn it off. from gate to drain. Look at that. We're turned off. 0.524. So when it was off, we were reading the diode drop of that zener. When it was turned on, we were reading through the drain to source junction, bypassing that zener. Now this, uh, turning this MOSFET on and off with your meter uh, doesn't work for every DMM. I've got a Radio Shack clamp meter with a diode function. And when I do this same test, turning the MOSFET on and off, when it's turned on, I don't have 0 .006 in the meter. I've got 0 .315 for the same good MOSFET. So do the test with your meter and see what, uh, what turn on uh,
from the drain to source you get in your meter. Um, what you can also do is you can have, uh, like say we pulled this one out of a circuit. And you're not sure if it's good or bad. With your meter it's saying like 0.315. Well grab another good one and do the same test and see if it says something similar close to 0.315. If it does, then both, you know that the good one says 0.315. And this one here that you pulled out of a circuit says 0.315. They must be uh, good. Both are good because you have a good one to compare to. This test uh, for the short circuit going from drain to source to uh, determine whether it's shorted or or not shorted will work in circuit. But the turn on test, your black lead on the drain, red lead on the gate, then move the red lead from the gate to the source to see if it's turned on. That usually does not work in the circuit. When this is soldered to a board, you have biasing resistors, you'll have a gate resistor, and usually a, a, a gate resistor to ground. Uh, you'll have drain resistances. Sometimes if uh, this is used in a switching power supply, you'll have a current sense resistor down here in the source to bus ground. And all of these resistances around the drain gate source will nullify that test. So what you have to do if you want to do that test is you have to unsolder this from the circuit. And there's only three pins. It's real easy to do. Now this test will also work with a P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET. But you have to reverse the leads. And let's just pretend that this is a P-channel. You take your red lead and you put it on the drain. You take your black lead, put it on the gate, and then move the black lead to the source to see if it's turned on. So just swap the lead polarity for a P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET. There you go. That's how to test the enhancement mode MOSFET.